Last minute, Ukraine, Russia war. Statement from Putin is a threat, we will destroy. The temporary ceasefire between Russia and Ukraine marked the 10th day of the Russia-Ukraine war. Evacuations in Mariupol were stopped by Ukraine, stating that Russia did not comply with the ceasefire. The latest statements of Russian President Vladimir Putin fell like a bomb on the agenda. Russian President Vladimir Putin almost froze the blood of the world with his harsh statements on live broadcast. Putin started his speech by saying that Ukraine was the obstacle to the peaceful solution of the crisis in Donbas. Evaluating the sanctions against his country as a declaration of there, Putin said, the operation decision was not taken easily. We will destroy Ukraine's military infrastructure, he said. Putin said that Ukraine's neutral status should be preserved. Our goal is clear. I have no doubt that the Russian army will achieve its goals, said Putin, underlining that all the soldiers currently participating in the war are members of the Russian army and that no one is necessarily recruited. Expressing that he cannot allow Ukraine to become a nuclear power, Putin repeated that they pursue the goal of disarming Ukraine and getting rid of neo-Nazis. Airspace problem Stating that creating a no-fly airspace over Ukraine would be seen as a direct military intervention, the Russian leader also announced that they are continuing negotiations with airline companies to resolve the crisis. Putin stated that if flights over Siberia are blocked, this will definitely be reflected in ticket prices, and said that the only way is absolute economic freedom. Putin made a very harsh statement about the closure of the airspace and said the country that does this is considered to have directly intervened militarily. Touching on the negotiation issue, Putin said we have put our proposals on the table, it is up to Ukraine to answer them. Contradictive statements from two sides On the other hand, statements from the Russian Ministry of Defense were added to Putin's statements. While the Ministry of Defense said that the Ukrainians did not use the humanitarian quarter regarding the humanitarian quarter and evacuations, the Ukrainian side made a new statement claiming that the Russian fire continued and this made it impossible to evacuate from the humanitarian corridor. Ukraine's Ministry of Defense has announced that Russia is spreading false information and that the rumor that Ukraine is not allowing civilians to leave the cities is false. Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs officials, on the other hand, use the expression London sanction hysteria, especially referring to the sanctions decisions taken by Britain at the expense of a deterioration of relations with Russia. The ministry stated that with Russia's response to these sanctions, Britain's investments in Russia will come to an end. Russian officials stated that London preferred to confront Russia instead of solving the problem.